Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Now I've just got the new wave of Black Series. This is the final wave of figures that will come in this sort of red and black style packaging. I've yet to get Plo Koon. Um, he will be coming next week, hopefully. Um, they had to get that one in from another store for some reason. Um, if you are lucky enough to pre-order pre -order these from Zing Pop Culture here in Australia, these are shipping out now. Um, or arriving in store to wherever you decide to uh, pick up from. So first up we're going to be looking at number 108, the Geonosis Battle Droid. I uh, really really love the first Battle Droid from episode 1 uh, that came out last year, maybe very early this year. Um, the, the Geonosis colour looks great and uh, these are good great with that uh, heavy Battle Droid that came out in the gaming greats not too long ago. Um, so the back reads, rather than use flesh and blood warriors, the Separatists prefer tall, thin battle droids to serve as mindlessly loyal soldiers that are easily controlled. So let's get down to the little table and have a look at this guy up close. So here we have the Geonosis B1 battle droid. Uh, this is this looks really cool. I'm really into the sort of uh, the sort of brownie orange look to uh, the battle droids as opposed to sort of the clear cream. I like them both, but I'm not sure why. I just I just favor this one a little bit more. Um, but again, with the first battle droid, this one is really, really good. Um, same accessories, comes with the sort of battle droid blast rifle. Looks good. Sort of got a black, black plastic with that sort of gray wash over it. Looks pretty solid. I like that a lot. Um, he does come with the unpeggable sort of antenna array on the back, um, and you can remove those as well. So it just pegs in there nicely. Or alternatively, you can have the uh, backpack, which is equally as good. Looks cool too, and those antenna do pop up as well. Probably go up a little bit further than that, but they're a little bit tight, so I'm just going to leave that for now. It's really great detail on the paint apps throughout the whole figure. There's battle wear, there's scratching to the metal, there's dings and dents, all that good stuff. Carbon scoring. Looking, looking pretty good. Now this battle droid will fold up into its absolute minuscule um, size, but upon trying to do this before, this neck joint here, so you have to, what you have to do is you have to pull that out, but this neck joint is actually really tight, um, and to bend that it's not going to happen, so I need to rinse some boiling water over that just to loosen up that plastic a little bit, get it, get some flex into it and get, get that joint moving. Um, sometimes that happens. If you've got a stiff joint, just uh, run it under some really, really hot water. Of course, be careful. Don't burn yourself. Um, but that will loosen up that plastic. There's probably just a little bit of extra plastic in the joints um, from the factory molds um, that, that makes it a little bit tight. And you don't want to be breaking your figures. Although if you are going to break one figure, the battle droid is probably going to do it because you can just have him as a broken battle droid. Or if you get a spare C-3PO head, you could just chuck that on top. Um, which also would have been a really cool addition to this battle droid if you could get a C-3PO head. Um, you could buy multiples, you could have a couple of battle droids and you could have one with the 3PO head. Um, but that would also be a good idea for a deluxe two pack with uh, battle droid and 3PO and you can do a head swap between them. That would be really, really cool. You're welcome Hasbro. Um, so there is a peg on this blaster as well, which will lock into the uh, peg into the backpack there, which is cool. Um, articulation, this is just full on. He's got the ball jointed head. He has these little, his mullet, droid mullet does flip up, up and down. Uh, there's a ball joint in the shoulders. There's swivels in the shoulders. The swivels at the forearms, elbows, uh, wrists, both swivel, and yep, there's a swivel there at the forearm as well. Uh, there's a little bit of a pivot there at the at the waist. 
joints at the knees, hips, ankles, and there's a little, as you can see there, that does fold into it really, really nicely. Um, if you go back and have a look at my original Battle Droid review for the Phantom Menace version, the clean white cream version, um, I do actually do a fold up of, the, of that droid there, so I'm not going to do it here. That is the Battle Droid from the new wave of Black Series. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Leave any comments down below. That would be awesome. Thanks for watching. May the Force be with you.